What is going on, NTK? Deathstar813 here, and welcome to the first episode of my thoughts on. Um, now, what this is, is a series where I will watch a trailer a few times, if not only once. Uh, I'll give my thoughts of it, uh, and you know, how the company is going to go about this, my, or how they're doing, at least. My predictions of the game, and what I hope, or my wish list, I, I guess you could say, of the game. Now today, I have with me, uh, Shrewd Hardcore, um, he has a channel, and, uh, I'm assuming your channel is just Shrewd Hardcore? Yeah. Okay, so I'll leave a link to his channel. And I'm just, remember. I'm just warning everybody right now, um, this series could get a bit, um, intense, because Destra has some intense thoughts on things. Only uh, he'll politics. go into detail. Anyways, um, so yeah. So, first one we have is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, um, pfft, I'm sorry, Call of Duty Ghosts, and this is, I just Bravo. paused the trailer, as you can see, and it's my favorite scene slash picture from the trailer, um, it's the dog and the guy standing next to each other. So, I'm going to start off with the, where the company is standing right now, Wolfens, uh, pfft, Wolfenstein, that, sorry, that's on my mind too, I just watched that trailer as well, um, but, Infantry Ward is it's different they have been around since call they made the first call of duty obviously and um they've been up and down they you know have had a lot of fans they've had a lot of haters and everything and it's call of duty you know so ever since Mario for three came out a lot of people were disappointed with the uh you know just a multiplayer really but a, i really shouldn't say this but nearly everyone was imp so impressed with the campaign. And this is why Ghost is interesting. Marvel for 3 had a terrible multiplayer. The Spec Ops was on edge, and the campaign was amazing. And that's what they always do. They always focus on the campaign of uh, their games, Infantry Ward. So that's why I'm on edge about the whole Ghost thing. But my predictions for uh, the next game, Call of Duty Ghosts, um, they're not, they said at the Xbox One reveal trailer that they're not going to take the safe route, but they're going to take the safe route. I know Infantry Ward, I've been with them since Modern Warfare, I know how they operate, they're not going to try anything like super new, e exciting, or whatever. They're going to keep it the same old storyline. You get emotionally attached characters and they kill them off. This happened in Modern Warfare series. This happened in the other Call of Duties like Big Red 1. This is just a repeating process that Infantry Ward has. You get emotionally attached and you get heartbroken. And obviously that's the point of sad war games. But, eh, you know? Yeah, I'm just um, in the uh, little bar area listening to the dubstep while I'm killing people. Okay. So, um... So yeah, my predictions is that, you know, it's going to have an okay multiplayer, like obviously graphics are going to be improved and different weapons, and I don't believe, uh, I believe that it's in the future, like 10 years in the future or something, like Black Ops 2, where it's in the near future, oh. but, um, so, you know, they're going to have obviously different weapons, um, and just different stuff in general. Um, now, they have the dog. I'm scared, because I... This is this is also again the uh, the safe route. There are a lot of animal lovers in the world, like me, for example, and Shrewd. You know, we love animals, and we, I love uh, dogs. Uh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. So if they repeat the process of killing off emotionally attached characters with that are connected to the players, if the dog ends up getting killed off, they're gonna get a lot, and I mean a lot of hard hitting hate. You know, a, just it'll be a, uh, it'll just be terrible for them, and that's why I'm on edge about the dog. Like it's a good idea. They've had dogs before, but it's one of those things where you know I really don't trust Infantry War with this. So that's my predictions and my my wish list, my hopes for this game. I hope that they go back to Big Red One. That game was the best Call of Duty in my opinion, other than Call of Duty Three. Um, it was such a good game. And I hope they go back to that aspect, because after um, Call of Duty 3, uh, there was, yeah, 3, not Big Red 1. After Call of Duty 3, there was obviously Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare, and then that sparked the whole Modern Warfare series, which did change gaming, I'll give it that. But, the whole thing is, you know, 
it always had a great campaign, but the multiplayer was never spot on. The only multiplayer that I remember thoroughly enjoying, enjoying is the Modern Warfare one, and that was already hacked. And that's another thing about Infinity Ward. They don't care about hackers. Five months after Modern Warfare 3 was out, I remember seeing a hacker. And I, it's just, I don't know. So that's one thing I'm scared of. Um, but I hope that they bring in Ghost. Ghost, if you guys have never played uh, Modern Warfare 2, was a character that is probably the, mo the most beloved character. He was a British spec ops. He never showed his face. He always wore a skull mask. His name was Ghost, and a lot of people think he didn't die. The reason for that is in the death scene, spoiler alert, obviously, um, in, but in the death scene of Ghost, um, I'll give you I'll give you guys three seconds if you don't want to hear it to go. One, two, three. Okay, so um, Ghost, as you guys know, he was poured on oil. He had oil poured on him, and Shepard lit, um, what was the guy's name that you put? Your... It was it Ro Roach? He poured uh, gasoline Cockroach. on Roach and Ghost, and then he wait, wait, wait. Maybe Roach is alive because he's a cockroach and he can survive anything. Yeah. At this rate, I'm willing for anything. But um, you know, and obvious, you know, in the end, you see flames in your Roach, so you know Roach died. But people say you that Ghost didn't die, and I agree with them. Because the flame... Actually, I'm pretty sure Roach is playing dead now because I have logic. Same ghost. Um, because you never saw a ghost on fire. The gasoline looked like it was mainly poured on Roach. And just all this stuff, you know, all these things go along with it. So, when we were hoping that Call of Duty Ghosts had to do with ghosts, where it even had ghosts in the ending of Marvel for 3, it's like, you have nothing to do with ghosts. We've been asking you guys. You say you listen to fans, and you don't show a single thing about Ghost. And so, my wish list is I hope they ha improve their multiplayer by a lot. I hope that they are, you know, they play it safe with the dog. Um, and I really hope that it has something to do with Ghost. Because after their well, past... that's what people in MW3 hope, that they brought Ghost back. Yeah. Um... Because, you know, they, it's either this game, in my opinion, will either make or break them. Because they're on the edge right now. If, you know, you keep up with the COD community, you'll notice that a lot of people are saying Modern Warfare 3 is horrible, Modern Warfare 2 is great. So if they don't go back to that kind of aspect, they're not going to do that well. So, there is my thoughts on, um, in the first episode, Modern Warfare, I mean, Call of Duty Ghosts. Jake, would you like to give your insight? Yeah, all I know is that if you pre-order, you get a free camo, yay! Yeah, you get a free camo for Black Ops 2, which is like, pulsing ghost mask things. So yeah, guys, um, thank you so much for watching, make sure to like and favorite, and tell me in the comments what you guys think. Uh, um, I'm interested to see what you guys think, because this is a hot topic right now, because it will be at E3. So yep, yeah, uh, hope you guys have a great day, um, and yeah. Leave a comment saying what you think, like, favorite, and make sure to hit that subscribe button to become a part of the NCK. That's about it, guys. Say bye, Jake. Oh, yeah, bye. Alright, bye, NCK.